In this video, FM receiver TEA5767 is interfaced with ATtiny85 microcontroller to play different FM stations. 101 Milton, live and local. In a previous video, I presented a detailed description of TEA5767 FM receiver and used Arduino coded with assembly to program the module in playing different FM stations. A link to that video is available in the video description. In this video we have the FM receiver module interface with ATtiny85 microcontroller via its I2C lines namely the serial clock and the serial data line. And we have push button standby connected to pin PB3 when pressed, we'll put the FM module in standby mode. And we have a station button connected to PB4. When pressed, we'll play a station. Pressing the button again, we'll play the next station and so on. We also have an LED connected to pin PB1, which will indicate a stereo audio has been detected in the FM station. Live and local. FM 101 has the most relevant financial news reported. 80Tiny85 does not have SPI or I2C hardware found in most 80 mega microcontrollers, but has a system called Universal Serial Interface, USI, when program can emulate SPI and I2C communication. A block diagram of the universal serial interface is shown here. In order to get at the output of the microcontroller, SPI or I2C connections, we need to program the data register, the status register and the control register. So we can either get a three wire interfacing which is SPI or a two wire interfacing which is I2C. Programming the USI is more complex than programming dedicated I2C and SPI circuits found in 80 mega microcontrollers. You can watch my previous videos in relation to I2C and SPI programming using assembly. In this video, I'll be using the TinyWire library, which enables I2C interfacing. I will, however, program the 80 tiny USI in assembly in a future video. The code used in this project is mostly written in C language. First, we need to include the TinyWire library, which is used to initialize the universal serial interface as I2C interface, and it also has functions which enables us to write and to read from the I2C device. Next, we declare this external function, delay millisecond, which is found inside the S file and it is coded in assembly. Next we define these two macros one to define the intermediate frequency at 225 kHz and the other to define the reference frequency at 32.768 kHz. Next we declared this one dimensional array to store the radio frequency of the FM stations. This variable will be used to store the calculated 14-bit PLL word and this array will be used to store the 5 bytes that will be sent to the FM receiver and this array will be used to uh, receive the 5 bytes from the FM receiver. Inside the setup function we initialize pin PB1 as output pin where the LED is connected and we initialize pins PB3 and PB4 as input where the push buttons are connected. Note here we are using these uh, low-level instructions instead of using the pin mode uh, function of the Arduino. Next we call this function which will initialize the 80Tiny85 USI for I2C. 
Next we assign the value of byte 3 and byte 5 that will be sent to the FM receiver module. These values are fixed throughout the program. Now byte 3 will give us high side injection and stereo audio and byte 5 will give us a de-emphasis time constant of 75 microseconds. Next we call function standby that will put the FM receiver in standby mode. Inside function standby we apply a delay to debounce the button press and then we copy a byte into the first byte this will set mute to on and the search capability of the FM receiver to off and we put a, a zero in the PLL high byte and then we copy a value into byte 2 which will put PLL low byte to zero and then we set a value to byte 4 which will put the device in standby mode and then we call this function to send these bytes to the TA5767 inside subroutine I squared C write we execute this function to send the start condition and then send the write address of the FM receiver and then we loop five times to send five bytes to the receiver and then we send the stop condition in standby mode the stereo LED will be off and this is achieved by executing this low-level instruction which is similar to executing the function digital write now the device is in standby mode. Next inside the loop function we check the status of the two push buttons to see whether they are pressed. Note here we are using low level expressions to check the status of pins PB3 and PB4. These expressions replace functions digital read. When we press the station button the program will jump to this function inside function PlayStation we calculate the 14-bit PLL word using this equation next we determine the value of byte 1 by taking the PLL word and shifting it to the right 8 times so this will give us mute off and provide the value for PLL high byte next we determine the value of uh, byte 2 by taking the PLL word and masking it with this uh, hexy value which will give us the value of PLL low byte and then we assign a value for byte 4 which will put the unit in uh, normal mode switching off the standby and turning on all of the audio filters next we call this function to write the 5 bytes to the TA5767 and then we call this function to read 5 bytes from the FM receiver inside function I squared C read we call this function in order to send the start condition and also the read address of the TA5767 and using this for loop to loop 5 times so that we can read the 5 bytes from the receiver Next we want to extract the stereo bit which is most significant bit in byte 3. So we take byte 3, we mask it with this hexy value to retain the stereo bit. And then we check the status of this bit. If 1, we turn on the LED. Otherwise, we turn off the LED. In future video, I will be extracting other information such as the frequency of the station, and the signal level and display it on uh, some LCD or uh, OLED screen. In a future video I'll be interfacing 1637 module to Tiny85 microcontroller in order to display the frequency and the signal level of the FM station. Thank you for watching.